In the office of the Arizona State Golf Facility in Tempe, there are two floor-to-ceiling murals honoring the best golfers in the history of the Sun Devil program. On the right, three-time NCAA champion Phil Mickelson. And to the left of lefty, two-time All-American Heather Farr. She was tiny and strong and beautiful and competitive and, and feisty on the golf course. When she walked on there, you could see that she felt strong and confident about who she was, and everybody wants to be around that. We had our sister spats, no question about it, but uh, I was very comfortable in her shadow. I'm just gonna follow wherever you go and do what you do, and you make all the friends, and I'm gonna tag along, and it would, you know, that would drive her crazy. Heather Farr was a hometown hero, one of the nation's top high school golfers in 1982. Heather, a Phoenix native, decided to stay in Arizona for college. Heather was recruited by everybody. I think she was offered 25 full rides. I think she really felt like she was gonna be at ASU, but then when she visited other schools, it just even ironically solidified her decision when she came home that she was gonna be at ASU. In 1985, after three years at ASU, Heather joined the LPGA Tour. Meanwhile, her younger sister, Missy Farr, was deciding where to go to college. I wanted to be my own person. I didn't just want to be Heather's sister. I wanted to have my own name, and, and I kind of went through that phase, and I actually went on a recruiting trip to U of A uh, in spite of Heather. She wasn't real happy about that. <laughs> and she backed off a little bit and was like, okay, you need to go where you, you want to be happy. Like Heather, Missy Farr knew she'd be happy in Tempe, and in her fourth season at ASU, Missy achieved the one goal that had eluded her older sister. Missy and her teammates won the national championship in 1990, the first in program history. We knew that we had done something special for a university and a coach and athletic department that did so much for us, which was pretty cool. It was a great time to be a golfer in the Farr family, but that was about to change. In the prime of her professional career, Heather Farr was diagnosed with breast cancer. You just can't possibly be ready for something like that. Our lives from that moment were n never the same again, never. She was 24 when she was diagnosed and uh, we lost her at 28. Just four years after the loss of her sister, Missy Farr was also diagnosed with breast cancer. I just remember thinking, this isn't my disease, this is Heather's disease, this doesn't make any sense. Okay, all right, back, okay, I was like, Whoo. What would Heather say to me right now? She'd tell me to like, <laughs> she'd tell me to like, get up, stand up, don't feel sorry for yourself, go go get the best treatment, and that's what I and that's what I did. I mean, that shows of the grit, of the determination, of the never give up, the fight. It speaks everything of who she is as a person, but who she is as a coach too. I just knew that she was going to beat it. I never had a doubt. Missy Farr K defeated cancer in 1998, and when the disease returned in 2008, she beat it again. Part of the silver lining in going through that with Heather and then going through it with myself is to not get caught in the why and why me and why us and why did this have to happen. It's unhealthy to, to continue that. You have to find peace and how to move on and move forward. Get in, good putt. Well done. After 13 years as an assistant, Missy Farke was hired as the head coach of the Sun Devils in 2015. She fights through everything, she perseveres, and you know, that's something she really teaches us, perseverance. And in just her second season as head coach, Farke's Sun Devils reached the ultimate goal. They won the national championship. I'm so proud of this team and their their love for each other and, and fighting for each other and, and uh, working so hard and we've hung in together and um, I'm just, um, I'm so ha happy for them that they get to be national champions for the rest of their lives. She wants us to be so mentally tough and I think that's honestly why we won a national championship last year. For Missy Farke, the lessons learned from her sister's brave battle will remain with her for a lifetime. You always have to have that uh, back pocket of resiliency and grit and determination because you just don't ever know when, when something is going to be tough. And I don't want any of my girls to crumble. I want them to be able to, to stand up and, and fight and be able to handle whatever life throws at them.